asks us to show that the top two lines there, A and B, are skew. So these two here. And they will be skew if when we equate each component, the I's, the J's and the K's, um, there's, there will be some sort of inconsistency. So I'm going to go ahead and start equating them. So we've got um, the position vector and the direction vector to, to deal with. So for the first one, we've got one uh, take away S needs to equal two plus T. For the J components, we've got four plus two S need to equal um, 8 plus 3t and we've got 1 plus 2s need to equal um, 2 plus 5t. So I'm just going to number these 1, 2 and 3 and you can see that we've got the s components the same, <coughs> s coefficients the same in equation 2 and 3. So if I do equation 2 take away equation 3, I'm going to get 3 uh, plus nothing obviously equals 6 take away 2t, um, which will be minus 3 equals minus 2t, so t is 3 over 2. Because we used equation 2 and 3 to find t, I'm going to use either equation 2 or 3 to then find s. So I'm going to use equation um, 3 to find what s is based on t being 3 over 2. So 1 plus 2s is equal to 2 plus 15 over 2. 5 lots of 3 over 2. Which says that 2s is 1 plus 15 over 2, so that's 17 over 2, and therefore s is 17 over 4, if they intersect. So what we're now going to do is go back up to the top equation, the first equation here, and say, well, if s and t are the correct value, if the lines intersect, then when we put s and t into here and here, we should get the same value on each side. But we're being asked to show that they're skew, so we're probably not going to get that value. So we've got 1 minus s equals 2 plus t. So that's 1 minus 17 over 4 needs to equal uh, 2 plus 3 over 2. It doesn't. You can see we've got quarters and halves here, so it's not going to work, but let's just do it properly. So minus 13 over 4 on this side, and we're going to get 7 over 2 on this side. And they're not equal, so they don't intersect. The other thing we need to make sure we do is show that, that we also need to show that they're not parallel. Um, because we've not checked if they're parallel yet. And they, the lines will be parallel if these direction vectors are multiples of each other. But you can see that they're not. So I'll just do this at the side here. Oops. So the direction vectors We've got minus 1, 2, and 2, and we've got, this is for A, and for B, we've got 1, 3, and 5, and you can see that they're not parallel. If, because if we times something um, by minus 1 to get 1, we have to times that same thing by 2 to get 3, and 2 to get 5, and obviously we, we don't, we would times by minus 1 to get this. Obviously, we times two by um, one and a half to get three, so they're not parallel. Because 
because they're not multiples. So we've got that they don't intersect, we've got that they're not parallel, and so therefore the lines are skewed. 